Hey everyone, and welcome to Tech Talk with Chad. And uh, in this, you know, episode, uh, this is going to be a long one, multi-part episode about iCloud. And uh, now, you know, iCloud, or not exactly iCloud, but it's basically um, cloud computing. You've heard of it. You know, it's it's basically an operating system on the internet, based off the internet, completely over the internet. You know, it's it's great. Um, so, I'm just going to get right into it. It's at os.icloud.com. And you might notice that I'm running in Internet Explorer, which I don't usually do. I hate Internet Explorer. But for this, if I use, you know, Firefox, um, if you try this on Firefox, it'll give you a message saying, you know, um, it, you should probably use it on Windows Internet Explorer because it works better. They've been testing on that longer. It's in the beta version on Windows Explorer. It's only in the alpha on Firefox, so it runs slower and stuff. So I'm going to use it in Windows Explorer, or Internet Explorer, I mean. So you go to os.icloud.com. Actually, first, you want to go to uh, icloud.com. So right there, icloud.com. And um, this is where you sign up from... Uh, sign up from your thingamajigger. And you just, you know, sign up for an account, start using now, uh, and all that, and you just sign up for it, okay? So, then once you're done signing up for it, click X, and you're, you know, go to os.icloud.com and go here. You just log in using your credentials, so, uh, mine is, uh, and you have your own little password here. Okay, and then you log in. Close up blue. Okay, so this is the iCloud interface. It's a uh, you know it's 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 like a, it's it's a really good blend between you know um it's really a good blend between Linux and XP. Uh, you know it has a little bit of that in there. It has the Vista sidebar thing going on here. So uh, basically, it, it welcomes you with this uh, little pop up window, much like Vista does. So um. It says, "Welcome to the social iCloud. Thank you for becoming a part of being of making a dream come true. The dream of a computer moving into the cloud. Conveniently use any computer as yours." So basically, that's saying, uh, you know, you can take this, you can load your files onto it, load some pictures and stuff onto it, go to a different computer anywhere in the world, as long as you have internet access, you can access that same, you know, user interface, that same stuff anywhere, uh, and it's uh, you know, it's a lot better than a laptop. Um, Experience iCloud full screen. Press the F11 key. I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna hit F11. Move the browser into full screen. There we go. Okay. Now, please start exploring your three gigabyte account. So, um, for free, you only get three gigabytes. You can move up to 50 gigabytes and more. That costs money. So, uh, basic users get three gigabytes. Okay. Share files, chat, look at video clips, listen to music, share photos, and use your email. So it's loaded with all this, all these um, basic apps, uh, much like Linux is, to let you, you know, do that stuff. Okay, so I uh, hear right off the bat, let's you choose your wallpaper. Um, I've, you know, since I've been playing around with it, f this for about half an hour, I've already. Okay, I've already um, got all this, you know, changed. I've personalized it a bit, but I'll walk you through it anyway. So you can click here to change your wallpaper. Um, it has links to applications, so iPlay, Music Player, and Library, uh, Document Explorer, much like Windows Explorer. Uh, here we have, you know, Picture Viewer. Obviously, it's not giving me anything, but it's probably a Picture Viewer. RSS. Um, here we have, I don't know what that is, and Instant Messaging Chat. Basically, yeah. Uh, you can choose to not show this window at startup, and of course, you have the Help Center. So here we have, you know, links to MSN, to set up your mail, settings, uh, widgets, and upload files uh, onto your iCloud Drive. Uh, so let's exit out of this. Here it pops up. You have your MSN window. Let's just close that. So uh, as you can see, a very nice little user interface here. Let's pop right into the, you know, you can right click here. It's fully interactive. Uh, y you know, after a while of this, you won't even notice that it's in a browser. It's so... Uh, you know, fast, quick, and, you know, interactive. So let's go down to properties. Okay, that loaded up pretty quack, quick. You have your, <laughs> your, 
control panel here, as you can see, you can move windows around. Uh, you know, it's it's you know it's a great interface here. Uh, so let's go into user. We have uh, your user settings, so profile settings, all that is here. You can change your profile picture. So let's change our picture here, um, and you can you know browse through your documents. I don't have any documents right now. Uh, let's see if it comes with sample pictures. Nope. So um, we'll just leave that for now. Maybe it's going there. You can have your about me, all, all that information here, uh, presentation, uh, details, and privacy, and all that. Here we have desktop, which basically you can pick your wallpapers. It comes preloaded with a whole bunch of awesome wallpapers. Um, and if you click on them, um, it does change in real time, just like Vista, which is really cool. Uh, I'm going to use the cloud wallpaper. I like that. Uh, let's go to widgets. Ugh. So here we have all your available widgets to put into the sidebar, just like you know Windows Vista. A lot of similarities um, with Windows Vista. And you know if you click on one, let's click on the calendar. It gives you a little name, a little short description, uh, when it was published, when it was updated, and the schema, whatever. And you can ask, or you can see if you know want to sh show in sidebar or desktop. Click on that. You can. You know, you can toggle through these options. So, uh, show on sidebar, I have that on right now. It, sh it pops up in there. If I do uh, float on desktop, click on that, it should. Okay. Uh, so, it's obviously not doing anything. Whatever. Okay, so, uh, and here we have themes. So, you can pick through all these themes. Uh, really cool themes. Uh, and we have general. Which is basically uh, here you can play around with your sidebars. You can have Aqua Bend, um, have your uh, Aqua theme, you have Basic. I like. I'm gonna go with the Basic. Um, and you can select your desktop icon size. So uh, 24 by 24, 32 by 32, and 40 by 48, and a huge 128 by 128. Uh, I'm gonna leave it at 48 by 48. That's the thing. Here you have locales. So basically. Um, uh, time zone, date and time, language and regional options, basic stuff like that. Here we have system, which is, uh, you know, your startup applications here. Basically gives you a list of all your applications uh, and gives you a little bit of options for those, much like the widgets. Uh, and here we have a list of file types, like the, uh, like, you know, what you would see in Windows. Um, here we have development, which will basically um, activate debugging traces and all that for, uh, you know, help, you know, s to send back to the development team. We have groups where you can join groups uh, with other users that are also uh, registered with iCloud. Uh, let's get just go OK and it'll save our changes here. Um, I haven't made that many changes but yeah okay so as you can see it loads relatively fast um, you know it would be like basically the same as a low-end computer maybe a bit more than that I don't know depends on what kind of computer you're in. So uh, let's look at the sidebar. However, I'm going to take a little bit of a break. Uh, I'm going to cut this video and, uh, you know, we can look at the sidebar afterwards.